So, 3D movies. I'm not a convert. No, not really a big fan. And 4D films. Well, there's something. <laughs> I saw another 4D film today. Probably the second in my life. The first one was at the London Eye. Whoa. It's terrible. I thought it was the funniest thing I'd ever seen. Um, unfortunately, not supposed to be a comedy. Uh, but the one I saw today was at the Vancouver Museum, and it was actually mostly pretty good. If you're wondering what a 4D movie is, the fourth dimension is not time, as one would expect. Uh, there is no time in it. No. Uh, the fourth dimension is water. So, if you're watching something on the screen get splashed, water comes into your face like you're being splashed. <laughs> Tricky, eh? <laughs> and um, if there's a wind, then in real life, where you're sitting, there's a wind. Yeah, so it's pretty fascinating. And for the most part, this one I thought today was pretty good. But then there are a few things where it's like the interactive part and what you're seeing didn't really seem to align. It's like, I'm watching penguins why does it feel like I'm sitting on a washing machine? You know, or, oh, that seal just got eaten by the killer whale. Why did I just get poked in the back? Is that the international signs of you've been eaten by a killer whale? Like, is that what Facebook poking is all about? I, have I just missed this whole thing? Yeah, it's a bit weird. Anyway, um, it might be the latest craze. It's not going to catch on. Not, I mean, we might be living in a brave new world, but the feelies are never going to happen.